so let's before we start, let's just run through what the Kickstart Your Cash Flow formula actually is. And um, okay, before we start, let's let's <clears throat> okay before we start, let it, okay before we start, let's just go through what the Kickstart Your Cash Flow formula really is. So the first step is collecting customers' cash. And this really forms the foundation of your whole business. And so if you haven't, don't have the, the structure, the infrastructure or the systems in place to capture your money from your sales, then everything's going to collapse. Um, I have a few examples later, which I don't want to go into now. Anyway, so we really need to have a system in place to go capture the sales that we're making. And many businesses, um, start at, use this as the end of their process when they should really be starting at the beginning of their process of how they're going to collect the money from their customers. Second step is product into sales. So just as we, we spoke about uh, in the, when we're discussing the difference between profit and cash flow, is making sure that we're turning over our products well. So that, that means uh, buying the right products for our customers, uh, the way that we price our products, uh, the way that we send our message about our products to our customers, uh, the method of getting our message out to our customers, those sort of things. And that's what we'll be discussing in step two. Uh, in step three, we'll be discussing cutting costs. And so that um, uh, focusing on the costs that actually make you money in your business and uh, focusing on the costs that you can control uh, as opposed to getting overwhelmed when you, when you look at a profit and loss statement. Uh, step four is your current customers and, and this is where you learn and you test everything that, that, that you're doing before you try testing it on, on new customers because it's not going to work on your current customers it's not going to work on your ideal current customers, then it's not going to work on your new customers. And so we're looking at ways to, to put new, uh, to, to test. So we're looking at ways to implement things in your business that work with your current customers and having a system in place to, to manage those customers before we go out looking for new customers. And once we've got these procedures right, the new customers are, are going to become fans of your business, are going to become long-term uh, customers of your business. And so you're not continually going into a, on, a, on a carousel, so you're just going around and around trying to get more customers. Most businesses do this the other way around. Try and get new customers, uh, they, they focus on getting more customers, then uh, they'll try and focus a little bit on their current customers. If things start getting tight, then they look at, look at costs um, and, oh no, we, we need to... Um... <clears throat> so most businesses generally do this the opposite way around. So they're always focused, their major focus is on new customers. But they, and current customers are sort of uh, the, the, way, the, the, the second in line and then cutting costs or getting a good return on, on the, their investment in, in their business would be a third thing. Um, and having uh, then their stock or collecting the cash comes sort of at, at the end when, when they need money. Uh, and if that things aren't going well, then they'll head back to getting more customers and so they're on that cycle, or on that hamster wheel, trying to get new customers to keep their business afloat when their greatest potential in their business are these four, four steps here. And your new customers is really, uh, after you've got these right, your new customers will fall into the system and you'll create greater leverage and you'll make more money. And the, the, whole, the whole premise of this system 
is to really to get you to focus so that so that you're hitting the bullseye so you so that you're becoming successful in your business I, I found uh, you know and I've spoken about it that focus is one of the greatest mistakes that all small business owners make because they're, they're not focusing on the the important areas of their business, the, the areas of, of their business that's going to make them the, the most money. But not only that, they're going to attract the better type of clients, they're going to attract the better type of staff, they're going to have a, a much better lifestyle, and they're going to have much more flexibility by having these processes in place. So that really sums up the Kickstart Your Cash Flow formula. 